inside the vehicle at all times. Remember to use the right foot above the head if you need any assistance. The studio is private property. Should not be enough to cause any flash floods. There's nothing to worry about. If you look closely at our rain, look very closely, you notice that it comes from a very high tech system, our sprinkler system. We show the water shoot up into the air and it's this great technology right. called gravity to bring it all back down to make it look like real rain. See, isn't that pretty? Now, the rain here is thicker than real rain because real rain is hard to film, it's hard to capture on camera. Make sure the rain drops are thicker here. If it's not big enough, we add a little bit of milk yeah. in it, so there's a oh no, that is blood coming to us, that is a flood right there! <laughs> that is a couple thousand gallons of water rushing down and up, up the hill, but don't worry, we are Wait for <laughs> okay, that was a close one. Is the run okay? What are you getting? Oh no. Water! Water everywhere! Let's get out of here! What's going to get a quit? George is in the water, so we won't last sleep. Once he's done, we'll go in and have a little swim, take a look around. See, that's his boat right there. Oh, wait, that is a shark in the water. Shark looks a lot bigger than what we just caught. I think we caught the wrong shark. Hey, George! George, you on the water. George, you want to swim your boat? George, just keep swimming! Just keep swimming! Just keep swimming! Swim! Swim! What do you do? Just swim! Swim! Swim, George! Oh, George has a lot of guts to be out there in those waters. George is toast. And, wait, oh, oh, okay, there they all are. Okay, everybody, we're going to just uh, stay calm and stay on the vehicle. We're not going to leave our tram because we have shark infested waters right next to us. Everyone stay seated, and uh, we're going to hide behind this dock, and hopefully that shark grabs the yellow bear with the shark bait and not us. The shark bait has a lot of meat on it, and then he's taking the bait, and he's taking the pier. Okay, that is, that is a really strong shark. Okay, everybody, please sit down. Okay, the spear is on fire. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, the fire up is to uh, protect us because sharks are very scared of fire. So while the fire is in the shark, wanna attack us? Don't worry, the shark's not gonna attack us. Oh no, the shark's attacking! <laughs> we need to make our kill! Anyone wanna take a break here? Maybe take a shower? I heard the showers have died for. Just had a great tour of the back lot at Universal Studios. It's a beautiful sunny day now, California. Only short and sweet, but it did the job. In Grand Central Food Court with Dean here. It's great this, it's got all sorts of stuff. A bit of atmosphere. The others are all having a, a box meal back at the hotel. Oh, you got 
Green and two red. Like that. Beef, quesadilla with a bit of salad, hot yeah. chili sauce. Serious result here. Quesadilla seriously beats having a box lunch back at the hotel. of downtown LA is fantastic. You wouldn't know it was there. This is the Bradbury building. We're not allowed to go up. Got a young lady there guarding the door. Yeah. But uh, famous, famous and the, the see, we've got Blade Dean here, right? He's a bit of a find actually because he seems to know where all these places are. <laughs> Just next door to the Bradbury building, in fact this is in the Bradbury building, is the Blue Bottle Cafe. It's a fantastic smell of coffee here. You don't really get good coffee in the States, but I have expectations. Almond butter toast. Look at that. Who ever heard of that? Fantastic. Look, here is the, uh, the list of coffee on offer. This is, what is it? Cold brew and tonic. Cold brew and tonic. When I got to SFO, I asked Avis if they had anything. Where the men hang out. How about this for a name for a restaurant? The Hokey Pokey. 